What's up traders, it's Nick here and welcome to another breakdown. As usual, I will be keeping it as educational as possible and also practical. So without further ado, let the intro roll and I will see you on the charts. The pair that I want to speak about into this video is Euro USD. The reason being is that Euro USD at the moment is very near to providing to us another good trading opportunity, and the market has just provided the move that we wanted to see from our previous breakdown. So it's time to make an update and see where we can be looking for the next, next setup. Now, as usual, I will be first covering the technical aspect of this market. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective by checking the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market. So the biggest speculators are doing in the market. And obviously, if you're able to follow how they are moving and changing their orders in time, you do have an advantage over your competition in the market. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of our technical breakdown and our order flow break, down, we will be able to understand where we can be looking for the highest probability setup on it. So without further ado, let's get straight into the analysis. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what do we see now here on the monthly? We can see one very important thing. We can see that the market has just tested a very strong area of previous monthly resistance, which is now turned monthly support here. And the market has just tested and started to reject this area to the upside, as we can see with this candle. Now, generally speaking, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of this impulse, what we can see is that the market has just retraced exactly to the 50% of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse. Now, if you're asking yourself, okay, but why has the market stopped exactly at this area? This is because this area is a confluence of support zone because it has the previous resistance, which was resistance here, which now that the market has broken into the upside is turned support at this area. And this zone is in confluence with the 50% of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse. So this is a confluence of support zone that we did expect the market to test and reject to the upside. And in fact, we can see that that is exactly what the market is currently doing, testing and rejecting this very strong support to the upside. So on the monthly, everything is quite clear. We can expect more continuation to the upside since, as we have just understood, the market has tested now very strong support and it is rejecting it to the upside. And there is the possibility to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we have? Now, here on the weekly, we can see the market has provided first an impulse to the upside, and currently it is providing this corrective movement. Now, generally speaking, if you have an impulse and then you see a corrective movement, what you expect after that is for the market to create the continuation to the upside. So here on the weekly time frame, we have a clear deceleration in providing this move to the downside. And there is another very interesting thing that we can notice. We can notice if we go down on a line chart that the previous weekly close is exactly here. Now, when you go on a weekly chart, it, and obviously you are on a line chart, what you're seeing is a, basically you will see the close of the market, actually all the closes of the market, all these angles that you see here, these are all weekly closes. And specifically weekly and monthly closes are strong structure areas. So if we go back on the candles, what we can see is that this area was very strong support, the market now broke back above the zone and has just retested and started to reject this area to the upside. So at the moment from the monthly and weekly time frame, we can see that everything is still bullish and we can easily expect more continuation to the upside since the market has now many support areas that is rejecting to the upside. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we have now here on the daily? I had spoken about EURUSD quite a few times in the past. I spoke about EURUSD after the market had provided this overextended W formation. When the market was here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we wanted to see the market create this move to the downside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. 
Then we had the creation of this W formation. And from here, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we wanted to see the market create this move to the downside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. Then we had the creation of this M pattern. And from here, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we expected the market to provide this move to the upside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. Then we had the creation of this M pattern. And from here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which first I expected a retracement to this area. And then from here, we wanted to see the continuation to the downside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And from here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we wanted to see this move to the upside. And again, the market gave us the move. And with the very last breakdown, when the market had created this M pattern, I made a full breakdown explaining why we wanted to see the market create this move to the upside, which we can see that the market is now creating exactly as we wanted to see. And by the way, I will link in description all this previous analysis. So you find all this previous analysis linked in description. So you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. However, at the moment, what do we have and how we can be looking to capitalize on the next move for Euro USD? Any questions or requests for the next videos? Make sure that you leave them down in the comment section below. Also, make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders perspective, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market, what we can see is that with the last report, they have increased their net positions. In fact, we went from having 137k net positions all the way up to having 140k net positions with 4k long positions added with the last report on the euro. Now, keep in mind that if you check the data for the euro, you're actually checking euro USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD, which means that hedge funds at the moment have started to add again quite a lot of long positions on the euro which again has just increased its long exposure and overall we have just reached 220k long positions against 80k shorts so overall we can expect more continuation to the upside specifically if we look at the pattern that the market is currently creating here on the daily we can see that we have an impulse correction lower low and equal high now generally speaking when you see an impulse a correction lower low and equal high what you expect after that is for the market to provide a retracement before the continuation to the upside, possibly for the creation of an inverted head and shoulders, meaning that there is the possibility for the market to reject once again the resistance that it has in this area for a retracement before the continuation to the upside. Now, that would be perfect because inside of here, this is a quite good buying area because we have a lot of pressure in it. So buying pressure specifically. So how we will be approaching this opportunity with students. Now, if the market will retrace back inside of this area, then inside of here, what we will be doing is as usual being reactive and not predictive. What do I mean by this? Now, the monthly, weekly and daily timeframes combined with the COT data are the best timeframes for the direction of the market. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frame is the four hours. So inside of here, what we will be doing with students is monitoring price action on the four hour time frame waiting for the market to provide to us one of our valid entries. And only if the market will shift from a four hour bearish to a four hour bullish market, only at that point, we will be adding your USD to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries with students, we will be taking a nice long with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and create a higher high. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education analysis and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you get all the rules of my rule-based strategies, and then you trade them live with me. Each and every day, I give you a new daily market breakdown, showing you how to apply the strategies with the entries, stops, and take profits, as well as answering all your questions every single day, including the weekends. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it.